Hello and welcome back to Europa. I'm Mick, we're playing Station Ears. Now, uh, in between episodes, I've been cleaning up a bit in the greenhouse down the bottom. It's almost ready to tear down. Just a bit of water in there to drink and we'll be good to go. Uh, oh, got some seeds. I got some seeds. Uh, we'll clean them up. Uh, I've managed to go three days without hurting myself. And today we are going to do our atmospherics. Um, well, there's a fair chance we'll do our atmospherics, and there's also a fair chance I'll get distracted and do something else. But um, uh, it's it's an it, it's it's a, it's a goal to have, um, yeah. And whenever you're ready, let me in. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Plants are growing. Um, you've got fern seeds. Why aren't you harvesting them? Well, the ferns come with six seeds. Oh, and I've only got harvesting five. I think that might be the case. Uh, anyway, um, they're all good. I've uh, got plenty of wheat seeds. Um, a lot of fern seeds. Got a soy seeds. Um, yeah, so we're good. And all wheat seeds. Okay, so once we've got a decent set of seeds up, we should be able to get back to uh, planting a heap of wheat. Um, right, let's. Uh, I'll put a couple of them back, plant them, and there's some more I should plant, but I don't. Uh, right, but they are growing, um, so they've got seeds, so the next uh, step is to harvest them. Uh, I'll probably need some more more of that, more poop, but um, I think we're going all right. Uh, so, yeah, while we're here, we're good. Nothing more to do in there. Now, our atmospherics. Where you want to go today. So uh, I should go down and connect up, probably connect up what we've got there to the to the new stuff. Um, so we had our tank and everything, our outlet from up here came out, our old tank down there, we've got to connect all that up, uh, run some of the pipe over there, but it's got to come up into here. Now we're hooking up a serial system this time, I always do parallel, but uh, let's go serial this time because it's, well, because I haven't done one for a while. Now, I used to do it and um, find out that always this pipe on the second machine always blew up. Now, I have figured out why that's happened, and uh, so I should be able to safely do it without blowing myself up this time. Um, but we need some pipes. Uh, what else? Oh, I've got pipes. There we go. Uh, probably need some vents. Need one of them? Yeah, probably not. Uh, we're all good. I shall need a transformer. I shall definitely need some consoles. Uh, gas display. And some cables. See, so not going to go very far. Oh well, it'll do. Um, logic circuits. I shall, logic chips I shall need. Uh, anything else handy? You're an airlock. Uh, of course, I'll need a IC housing and a chip, or not. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, here we go. Some more pipes. They come in handy. Uh, so, um, uh, nitrogen. Yep. Okay. Yep. Give me two of them. That'll go swimmingly. Right, now. Um, I took up the pipe, didn't I? Hey, I finished building my kitchen. Put in the other things there. Uh, still got to wire that up. But we're good to go. Right. Now. The pipe. 
Hui. Now, so I have run the pipe from the tank over there. Oh, more cables. That can be handy. Uh, I've been scrapping a lot of the stuff in there, so not a lot left in there anymore. Yeah, almost all gone. So I should be able to pull that out uh, today and um, free up a bit of space for Amy to wander. Uh, so, um, some more vents. Oh, oh, there's the chip I needed. Oh, I've run out of pockets. That's all right. Um, so we shall need power. There's a power cable. Okay, power is in the right spot. Now that's where I need to get the yellow pipe up to. Layer. So if I leave, leave enough room for, say, a radiator. Um, yes, just give yourself plenty of room so I can... Uh, if I put it there, it gives me enough room for the heater to go in between the power cable and the rest of it. Um, uh, yeah, not quite enough. And you. Right, so that should have you hooked up with your gas. Uh, oxygen, nitrogen, CO2 at a respectable temperature. So we should just be able to filter that straight up. So we've got to skip over those pipes. And we'll come out one and then go up. Squeeze up through there. There we go. Now that's the tank just there. So we shall hook up you to there. And where's my spanner gone? Uh, you. Hook up to there. There, there. Right. So now we should have gas in there. <laughs> Losing more and more pressure as we go. I suppose it's all flowed into the tank up there. Right. So that's good. Now we should want to put um, chips up there. So I've put in gas displays. Uh, yeah, put a couple of them like that. Should give us room to put in a, um, a uh, roller cover. We'll put our circuitry up here. Now, yeah. uh, get that out of the way. So I want a transformer. If you come in there, uh, that looks right. Uh, I don't have any heavy cable, right. But, uh, yeah, that's what will happen. Um, you. Come on. There we go. No, that's not it. There we go. No, no. You. And... You, you. Now I'll probably put a uh, pipe analyzer on just here. So that way I will just be able to point my pointer at it and I won't need to use the gas analyzer all the time. I'll be able to see what's in it, what temperature, what pressure it is. Well, I'm going to put some displays on it there to show me temperature and pressure. But I won't be able to see what gases are in there, so I'll put one of them on there. Um, and you can go to there. Uh, and you'll have to go up to the top. Now, so if I put 
Uh, now, I'm going to be reading. That's not what I want. That's not even close to what I want. Um, now, we, because I'm going to be using say, batch commands to read from all of these ones here, I won't be able to read what the filters are because the, the IC10 doesn't have a batch slot reader, uh, batch slot read command. But we do have batch slot readers. So if I put in two of them, it will be able to read those the filters. I'll then be able to read those ones from the IC10, and uh, that will give me what's uh, what the filter status is. So they'll be able to tell me when the filters have run out, um, and uh, they'll be able to shut down the system. Um, yeah, so I'll put a pipe analyzer on there as well, so that'll be able to tell us when the uh, when the um, when there's no gas in the system and shut the thing down. Um, uh, analyze, I'll take one of them. And uh, oxygen filters, I'll take two of them. Yep. Thank you, take you. Now the chip I can put back. You I can put back. If you're just completely wrong thing that I'm after. Uh, I don't have any. I don't have a logic memory. Now I'll use the logic memory as uh, an alarm. And I don't have any heavy cables. Wow, super organized. Uh, but if the heavy power cable comes up there, I should better put the memory up here. So what I'm going to do with the alarm is I'm just going to have a logic memory which can attach to the main power system and the local power system because it's got two data ports and I should just write an alarm to that and then my master alarm in the other room can just read all of the memories there because uh, I can put a memory on this one as well and connect it up to the main power cable uh, put a memory on the weather station hook that up and then just need one reader which can read them all in one go uh, so that's how I'll do my alarm, and I'm sure I had some chips kicking around somewhere. Anyway, we got the nitrogen. I've got the analyzer. You need some heavy cables, uh, so that should just be able to read from that and switch all them on and off. Really? At all? Um, okay. Uh, so, cables. Uh, no. No. Uh, uh, you. You'll go on further. Uh, you go there, because I put my IC10 there. You probably hook you up to the tanks outside. Um, you can be. Oop, doop, 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 fall down the hole. I might want to put a floor on there. Uh, you. You. Yeah, and I think that has it all hooked up. Um, big roundabout, but okay. So, uh, did I have some heavy cables down in my box of salvage? Um, there's my housings. Uh, I knew I had them somewhere. Uh, yeah. Well, radiators all one, well, one radiator, and probably want them as well. Uh, oh, heavy cables, 12. Well, that's more than none, and the cutters I'll probably want. Now, I had the cable, which was pretty close. Yeah, 
Yep. Up. Yeah. And. Yep. Yep. Hook you straight up to the. Oh, yep. Ah! Nope. That's going to get annoying. Uh, so uh, I'll make some more cables. I'll hook that up to the memory. Uh, my IC10. Go up there. You're a recycled chip. I'll put you in there. And um, need some more displays. I'll need an oxygen filler upper. Um, probably got some CO2. Think of me jiggers just here. Yeah, I got plenty. Ah, I'll need an output for you, won't I? That would be handy. Uh, my oxygen. There's some walls. I'll make some more walls for me. So we'll start putting up a heap of them. Uh, do. Now. Oxygen, you're good. CO2, you're good. Um, you're probably going to be in the way there, so let's get rid of you. Um, just put you away for the meantime. Now, I should want... Uh, not that one. Um, you... I can put it in an unnecessarily roundabout way. Uh, I've got a vent, I have got a vent. And we down we go. You, um, I'll just put it on the bottom, I guess. You can go to there. Put you on there. So outlet. One to the next, to the next, to the next. I don't have those tanks hooked up. Although while I'm here, I may as well wire them up. And I bet I haven't even labelled them yet, have I? No. So there we go. Good opportunity to leave the labeler on for the rest of the episode, huh? Uh, so you shall be um, the waste tank. You are the oxygen tank. You are the nitrogen tank. And I repainted my nitrogen black because I just couldn't get used to it being green. And you are the CO2 tank. Yeah, old habits. I know green's the official colour for nitrogen, but... Ah, well. Uh, right. So you're, got, you're hooking them up. That's what I was doing. Uh, so, I even left a connector for it inside, didn't I? Ah. Like I'm, I look like I almost know what I'm like doing. Now, you. And, should be able to connect you into there, into there, and that should all be hooked up. Um. Right. So now I should just be able to switch them on. Get rid of you until it's too late. Um, we're up and running. Yep. Yep. And you, we're all good. Right, so... Um, are we going to have a storm? Can I put something on the floor? I put the computer down. We're good. So I want a batch read. No, I want to read from here. And if there's, I don't know, more than 100 kilopascals in there, just switch them on with a batch command. Uh, well, I can set up the batch readers, slot readers. So we shall have an in from the filtration. 
after read the first slot, uh, put the quantity and we'll take the minimum because we're interested in that if, if any one of them has run out, uh, we have a shutdown. So we want to know what the lowest value is on any of those ones. Uh, they're all new, so they should be reading 100. They are. Once again, filtration from the oh from the other one. So that is uh, cycle to slot two. That's cycle to slot one. So that's the other one. So it doesn't actually tell you which slot you're on until you tell you what one you can change it to. Uh, so quantity and the uh, minimum. So 100 and 100. If I pull you out, you're zero. You're still 100. Uh, switch you over. Now you're zero. Was that the zero one last time? Oh, I just switched the, <laughs> switched the filter over you. Dumbass. Now that one's 100, that one's zero. Right. That is working. If I do the same on that one, we should get uh, 100 and zero. So we're good. So that is working. So if any one of those filters reaches zero, one of them will have zero. So I'll read the minimum of either of them. And that will tell us that we have a, uh, a filter worn out and we should shut down. So, um, where are we? Computer. We are going to want to uh, edit, clear that one. So, we shall have the pipe sensor uh, D0. And that's all we need. Um, define the filtration. Uh, you will be you. And the uh, batch slot readers. Uh, be the batch slot reader. There we go. Right. Um, that's all we need. Uh, seems too simple. What have I forgotten? So we shall load. Yeah, we might actually define a variable to decide whether or not the filtration should go on. Filtration on, and uh, we shall use uh, 10 for that one, perhaps. Uh, so load into uh, R0 from the pipe sensor. Uh, pressure. Right, so we shall set greater than stuff. It's greater than I don't know, 100 kilopascals. We'll switch on the uh, switch on the uh, the uh, filtration. So we shall say uh, yes. Yeah, so we'll set it to filtration on if the pressure is greater than 100. What's the combustion pressure? Uh, so if we keep it below the combustion pressure, we know it's not going to explode. So it's, was that 100 combustion pressure? Oh, we'll, we'll say 50 kilopascals. So if we've got 50 kilopascals in there, switch it on. And so uh, then we just have to uh, save, save batch to the filtration. filtration um, uh, on filtration on oh great filtration on uh, and jump to the start now we did want to check the um, 
Oh, we wanted the alarm too, didn't we? Alarm D1. Because we'll set the alarm if the uh, filters have run out. Now we shall say uh, load now load batch into R0 uh, from the slot slot reader the setting and we should take the minimum. So if either one of them is zero, we want to get a zero reading. So we'll take the minimum, whatever's the lowest one, that's the only one that interests me. What the other one is, doesn't matter. If one of them hits zero, that's all that matters. Um, so if that's a zero, well, that's fine. Um, so then I can just uh, end that with our filtration on. Because uh, if any of the slot readers are zero, that'll switch the thing off. So we can just end it straight in. So if we copy that, so filtration on is filtration on and R0. Uh, so if that's zero, it'll shut it down. It'll stop it from coming on. You want to set our alarm. So if any of those zero values are zero, we want to um, give a true reading. So uh, set equal to zero. Uh, set R0. If R0 equals zero, and uh, save alarm setting uh, R0. So if R0 equals 0, change it to 1 and switch the alarm off. If R0 is not, is greater than 0, we can still switch our filtration on and then it will not be equal to 0, so that gives us a, a false and the alarm goes off. Awesome. Uh, that should be enough. From export you uh, here we go. So we shall want a pipe sensor Use the pipe analyzer and you are the memory. Logic memory, that's all we had. I reset you, switch you on. There we go. Um, that is now going down. We're all switched on. If I pull you out, you should all switch off, which you do, and the alarm should go to one. Excellent you back in, you should switch back on again, and the alarm should go to zero. And it does. Oh cool! When that gets to 100 kilopascals, it should switch off. Well that's fine. That's still not what it's got to do. Um, I suppose the next thing we have to do now is if we get um, uh, extra pressure, uh, temperature, if it's too hot, so when we purge the heater, it'll be hot. Uh, so we we'll want to put a radiator on it to cool it down. So for that, um, get out of my way. We shall need uh, a valve and some radiators, which I conveniently have, and some pipes. Need some more radiators than that, though. Now. Um, that out of here. Radiators. Uh, probably not that many. Ah, I'll grab a few. You're not going to be able to make that many. That's all right. Um, cool. Now, uh, so we'll have to test now whether or not it's hot. If it's hot, we've got to open the radiator and switch these things off until it cools down. Now, you, I might want to turn you back into a regular valve. At the moment, the, the speed that these things operate, they're operating pretty slow at the moment because they've only got short intake pipes. Normally when you've got a parallel setup, you have a massive long pipe connected to the input of these things, which means they go very, very fast. 
um, but it being a parallel setup it means that it has to reprocess the gas many times and it's well it goes quick uh, it's not the most efficient because then you've left with gases that you don't want and we switched off that's good so it must be below 100 kilopascals or 50 50 that's what we set it to so it's 48 so yeah they switched off uh, but this one it will just process through just the three three filters and anything that's left is just stuff we don't want so that's all fine um, right so now because we're doing it this way it just runs through one and the other first one we take out is the oxygen because uh, I've done that mistake before because if there is any hydrogen in the mix it's below it hasn't exploded in the pipe because oh, it's too cold or it's not an explosive mix if you suddenly take out all the gases except for the hydrogen oxygen the percentage of hydrogen oxygen will increase and increase and you may find it suddenly explodes once it gets further down the line of filters so the first thing I'm going to remove should be either the hydrogen or the oxygen and in this case I'm not collecting hydrogen so the first thing I pull out is the oxygen so that doesn't matter what concentration of hydrogen is left in the mix it can't explode because there's nothing to react it with uh, so uh, yeah so I say the pipe, these things operate at a speed which is determined by the length of pipes now, normally if you're not careful there will be a big long pipe here which probably goes back to your tank so make sure you break it I have six lengths of pipe in here leading to that one six lengths of pipe to that one so I've got to make sure I have six lengths or less attached to the first one because if it runs faster than the other ones it's going to dump a lot of gas in here faster than that one can process it so um yeah so I've broken it with this one here if I have hot gas in there that will not allow the hot gas to flow back so um I might just change that to a, a regular valve regular ball valve and I'll just have to leave it open all the time because that will break the pipe and trick this thing into thinking there's only six pipes connected to, to the start of it and it should be running at the same speed as the other ones which also have six pipes attached to them uh, well that's the theory anyway um, we'll see now uh, four wow uh, some more perhaps so we'll hook up a radiator underneath and um, I probably should hook up that or disconnect I should say the existing system so I can purge that while I'm at it uh, right, that'll probably do us uh, you can make me some a couple more of them because I have just used them all or given them away I should say I didn't build more of them did I no no I didn't uh, so where are we um, whoa now um, radiator uh, well, I could just put along the bottom here uh, so if I give myself enough room to put some overflow valves in there I could put in yeah I'll do. I can put in a radiator along here cross as many of these cells as possible I can put in a valve that and you round and I should be able to wire up directly into there uh, you. right so while I'm at this I can disconnect that old co2 tank which I don't need anymore and uh, hook that into the waste pipe And there should be should be able to recycle all of that. Uh, you. Yeah. 
Right, that should be you all hooked up. And you should be getting all sucked out of there now. That is dropping. Yep. So all that CO2 will be captured and reused. It should now be filtering. There's my CO2 pipe, that one there. Uh, you're not going up. Are they not? Oh, probably because the other CO2 is not up to... Yeah, that's less lesser pressure. And I've got a one-way valve in there. So I've got a megapascal in there. And we've got less than a megapascal in there. But that is going up. So that's cool. It is working. Once it gets higher, it'll push past that valve and into there. So, yeah, no. Don't panic. Don't panic! Ah Get back off before you panic. Right, so I'll be able to purge that one. I'll be able to remove all of that. Uh, I'll probably purge the heater as well, the old heater, which I'll have to disconnect, of course. Now, I had a T connector connecting in there, so I have a T junction right there. Place out the straight pipe, and that should be disconnected. Right, so now if I look at you and you, it's 1.75 kilomoles of CO2, is five, yep, so they're, they're separate systems now. So I should be able to purge that once all this other stuff has gone. So now uh, I shall need to program in the hot. Need to connect it up first. Uh, you... Uh, do you yeah, this should cable just just there up there we go all hooked up uh, better put in my radiators too that'd probably help it is an uninsulated pipe so yeah, it'd work um, what do I got two three oh, I got heaps uh, a couple of them in each. Yeah, that'll do us. Right, you're done. Excellent. Now, um, so you're hooked up. I uh, just need to program you in as a uh, temperature sensor. And tis a new day. And no storm. So, I could put down the floors there. That would probably make life a bit easier. Don't have to worry about the storms then. Uh, uh, don't you have all my tools? Um, yeah, later. Uh, right. What we come in here for? I've forgotten. Could have been that important then, could it? Now, um... Now, temperature sensor. Uh, how are we going? Oh, we've already pumped that all out. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, temperature. Now, our uh, computer. Now, uh, grab you. We shall need the uh, valve D2. Ah, uh, so we need to check all that. We need to check all that. We're good. So uh, load into R0 from the pipe sensor. The yeah. temperature. Uh, she will set. Uh, we just want hot stuff we want to get rid of. Are we happy with cold? Well, I don't have any way of heating up the cold stuff. So we're just going to worry about the hot stuff. So... Uh, set less than because we want to switch it on when it's less than the maximum temperature. So set R zero if R zero the temperature is less than uh, I don't know, 27, 300. Nice round number. Uh, yeah, why not? Um, that's all we have to do, isn't it? 
and I've just got to end it with that one. So if I copy that one, paste that one, uh, so the temperature is less than 300, switch it on. If it's not, the whole thing shuts down. Oh, I've got to switch on the um, uh, switch on the uh, the radiator. So the temperature is less than 300, we can switch it on. Uh, if it's greater than 300, uh, that will give us a, a, a zero. Which will switch the filters off. So we should, we should uh, set equal to zero. Set R zero. That's equal to zero, which will switch it to a one. That should be a not. And then we can save to the uh, valve on R zero. So if it's too hot, don't filter it. But switch the valve on and open the radiator. If it's below 300, filter it, switch the valve off. Uh, that sounds good. Uh, confirm. Export. Uh, now, uh, you suddenly took up the valve. Uh, do, do. Digital valve. There we go. You're on. We're all good. Oh, it switched it on. Okay. It's cooling down. So it was above that. It switched everything off. Well, everything is off head every way because it's below pressure. Uh, now it's closed the valve. It stopped cooling down. Oh, well, okay. There you go. It, it, it works. <laughs> Uh, right, so let's get some gas, uh, some consoles and some gas displays. Uh, you. Uh, do, do, do we want six of them? Uh, yeah, you're not going to make me six of them. Uh, two and three and you're out. Right. Oh, whoops. Okay. Give me three of them then. Uh, and if I want, I want some glass. Out, oh, missed the door. Fourteen. That'll do us. Take you and some. Oops. Gas starts with a G. And you're not going to give me enough of them either. That's alright. And that's five of them we want. Uh, oh, you can. Well done. And I can probably grab some floors. Flat walls, flat walls, there we go. Start putting down some of them. Do I have my tiles not matching up? I got a comment there to say they're not matched up. Oh, I think someone's having a lend to me. Either that or, or, or my OCD is just not up to scratch. Put uh, all of you lot down. I should be able to seal you up just in case we get a storm. We should be all good. Right. So that's that. Uh, now, you lot. I need to put my oxygen filling station here, don't I? How am I going to fix, fit that in? <laughs> They're supposed to have fixed the vents, the, uh, uh, what do you call them? The regulators. Last update, they said they fixed them so they operate at full speed all the time. Uh, so we may just, be, may not have to be as complex with them. We may just be able to chuck in a pressure regulator and have it work how we want. 
that is not a pressure regulator. And U, G, A, four, five. And pressure regulators. Uh, four. Probably want a tank uh, emptying station too, won't I? Right, we'll see how we go. Um, now we wanted to empty the empty the tanks. Uh, let's get rid of you, you, and you, and probably the pipes as well. Um, now. I'm going to purge the heater. So, no, 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 no. Oh, you bastard of a thing. Work, mouse. I hate you, mouse. There we go. You, 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 dude, dude, and doop. Here we go. We have the power. Nice, all done. And you and you. Where's my oh, I've got glasses in my hand. No wonder I can't find it. Yep. Right. Now, rock and roll. You are the waste tank. Waste tank pressure you are there waste tank temperature you are the oxygen tank pressure and the Oxygen tank temperature, nitrogen, temperature, and you should be the CO2. And temperature. We're good. So we almost have a meg of CO2. And I've got a mega nitrogen? Really? Looks like it. Um, okay. And a heap of oxygen. Not that oxygen's really in so, so short supply. Now we want to pull out these tanks because we don't need them anymore. Uh, no jetpack. What are you doing? Uh, so I can now pull out you. Oh, some more CO2 cartridges. Take them because you're done. Um, come around here. No storm. I can remove you. Actually, I can remove you too now, can't I? And. Remove you lot. And, well, I probably don't need you anymore because you're about to be removed. Um, don't know where you're going. Uh, you're not going anywhere either. Uh, so, that pipe. I can pull back to there as well. 
good. You're done, you're all tidied up. And you. Oh, some more radiators. I didn't have to make some more. Well, there you go. And another valve. Got. You can go. Uh, you can go. Now, that's the old heater. So I should be able to tap you into there. And you're not hooked up. I'll just pinch them while I'm here. And I should be safe to do that. The heater, sh uh, the uh, radiator should come on. It has. The filtration should be switched off. Because it is now 700 degrees in there. It's cooling down. And everything else is switched off. So now I have a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of nitrogen, but mostly carbon dioxide and pollutant because that's all coming out of the heater, which is basically burning, well, just burning stuff. Uh, that is not connected because that is still staying hot. So that's good. Um, that seems to be doing what it's meant to be doing. Cool. Uh, Right, um, uh, right, let's put you over one, one block, uh, put some spare ones of them in there, now, uh, that's got to be close to done now, doesn't it? Ooh, oxygen station, some pressure regulators, and now because these are all in series, they either all switch on or all switch off. So I've got no way of actually selectively just removing one of the gases. Uh, so it means I have no way of actually stopping an overpressure on any, any of these, other than shutting the whole thing down. Um, now, which is uh, not good. Now I need some heavy cable while I've got it. Uh, now I just needed one corner to go into there. Um, mm. That's not a health and safety incident. I didn't get hurt. Uh, there we go. And I'll put you into there and I can put in another memory there for my low fuel alarm. Look at that. Some things are actually getting, well, closer to finished off. Um, speaking of health and safety alarms. Uh, yeah, I'm an engineer, I can't spell. V-O-T-Y apostrophe S. There we go. Right, now we're supposed to speak in English. Not like them dirty hobbits that are stealing my precious as everybody says. Uh, so, uh, we're good. Now, I shall need the regulators. Uh, I have a pipe filler downstairs, a um, canister storage. Um, so, if I just put a pressure regulator in that rollover, there we go. Uh, you're going the wrong way. There we go. If I put you into there and just have you uh, pump up to say uh, 7,000, 7 meg. 
Uh, I should just be able to put a canister storage on there and that should be good enough for my refilling my jetpack and everything else. I just use oxygen for everything. So jetpack will be oxygen, the oxygen will be oxygen and that's all I need. Uh, right, so you're still cooling down. Now it was you. My jetpack's good for the moment, so um, uh, let's just steal it. No, that away. Uh, put you away. Not that one. It was you. Right. Ah, uh, but now overpressure. Uh, I've got a pipe there, pipe there. Pipe there. Right, so if I just put... There, there, and there, I can put a back pressure regulator, back pressure to you, there, there, I can just pipe you up directly into the system there, and I can set each of them to, I don't know, 20 meg, they should operate quick enough to Relieve the pressure. Uh, and twenty, twenty three. No, 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 that's too many. Right. Now, oop, I did switch that off, didn't I? Yes, that is switched off. Uh, I don't want any spanner. There we go. Is that you. Boop. And boop. So you can just walk straight up into that pipe there. Boop. And of course, none of that's going to be functional at the moment because I haven't painted it. No, there we go. Oop. So once that gets to more than 20,000, it'll squeeze through the back pressure regulator and just release anything else because we, well, we really don't want it. Uh, that's not going to work. Oh. Nuts. Uh, cables. You can go in there. Now. You should be able to go straight up and into there. There we go. So you should be switched on now. When I switch it on, it'll be switched on. You. And you. Now they will always be switched on, so a little bit power hungry, but I don't think I'm that shy of power at the moment. Uh, boop. No. Doop. 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 And, oh, exactly the right amount. Perfectly planned. Not luck at all. Now. What have I forgotten? Um, so we've got the filter alarm. We've got the overheat. Um, checker thingy over pressure this thing this this thing here I've got to do now uh, me uh, yeah not really where I wanted it but okay Now you, oh spanner, go in there, and that'll give me a bit of uh, backup there, and uh, now I've run out of cables, almost the right number of cables.
Apart from the ones I'm missing, it was the exact right number. Now what do I have here? Atmospherics and a generator. Uh, don't want them. Generator can go in the electrical cupboard with the plumbing stuff. Mm. Well done. Uh, one of them. Little valve. Sort them out. Tidy up. Uh, I think I'm almost done. I shall want some paint, of course. White paint, grey, and yellow? Black paint. Yeah, I got it all. Um, cables. Right. Uh, wow, okay, that actually sounds about done. Finally! You're having an easy day, aren't you? Nothing at all to do. I'm running all the legwork. Um, Wilson's still waiting for his date to come back. No, oh, no, she's still really busy. Sorry. Um, hmm. I wonder if that's what happened to all my dates. Had something really busy to do. Ah, uh, well, you're on. So you were set to 7,000. We're good. You, of course, have to be painted. Uh, you. There we go. So that should just fill that up. I, yeah, I'm not going to use a nitrogen tank. I'll use a nitrogen for my breathable atmosphere in my base, but um, I'll just use oxygen for my for my uh, jetpack because I have plenty of it. There, uh, you're the oxygen as well. Uh, you are the nitrogen. And you are the CO2. And you're just waste. That's it, we're all painted. Oh, you switched off. Excellent, so I should all just be filtering. Well, there's not much left. And pipe network, 64 kilopascals. So yeah, that's not even close to exploding. 45 in that one. And they've all switched off, right. That's the atmosphere. Pipe network 45. Yeah, that's fine. So it doesn't look like we're going to explode those pipes. So that's 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 the the uh, atmospherics going. Uh, so I just need a roller cover to put on there. Some uh, roof. Uh, you. Uh, we want large panels. And not you. Got everything. You're all hooked up. Uh, need something for you. Mm, need one for you. Need one for you. That's meant to be a different one. Uh, so, I shall need steel sheets. Yeesh, they love our steel sheets. And a wall. Uh, steel sheets. Stacking them will be nice. 
Uh, have plastic sheets. I do have plastic sheets. We're good. Now, can seal you up. Uh, well, that'll do for now. And to you, to you up, and you, all the rest of steel sheets. Uh, right, uh, so I need some bottles to put in there, need some steel sheets, need the door, uh, roller cover, and that room should be done, and some paint. Uh, green. 69, the best type. So, I shall want you. Uh, the tanks, while I'm there. Might be handy. Uh, now, these ones are very angry when I get them out of here. That's a canister, not a tank. Oops, I get ready to catch them. Gotcha. Uh, two should be enough. Nope, oh, gotcha. Now, uh, you. Uh, you're all done. Uh, I've got my door again, didn't I? Uh, a door. There we go. Lovely. Oh, I'm sure no one will notice that. Uh, now, uh, you and you. Going to be uh, you and uh, you, of course. So we de orangeify the place. You can go in there. You're filling up, that's good. And uh, yeah, you can just wait. Uh, so, uh, oops, one more. There we go. Green paint and the door, and we have an atmospheric room which is done. Phew. Um, yeah, that's all we need. Uh, hey. A door. Excellent. Oop. Uh, and give me. There, yeah, I should want to put up putting in an airlock. And woo, they're expensive. I'll need two of them. And big green paint. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boop. Green paint. And yes. And uh, up there. Boop. Done. That. Oh, yeah, all right, we'll live with that. Ah, uh, so atmospherics is done. It is temperature controlled. It is pressure controlled. It has a, a filter run out warning. It. I said I've got hooked up to an alarm, but it is an alarm nonetheless. Uh, I still need a memory circuit to go into there. 
Uh, I'll need a memory chip for to go onto the weather alarm, a uh, memory chip to go onto the rocket, uh, and hook up the alarm. But uh, yeah, that'll probably we'll get there. Um, oh yeah, I knew about them. Uh, right. So get rid of you lot. Oop, close. Uh, I still have no idea what I'm going to put into this little area here, but um, it's it's a covered room at the moment. Uh, doop. There we go. I still need to put in my heater purge because that is 14 meg in there. I still need to put in my sterling generator, which I'll put up there. Uh, my furnace still needs to purge in it. Well, that's only 400 degrees. Yeah, I'll purge that into the heater still. Um, but I got atmospherics. Woohoo! Oh, I had a garden growing. That's, it's... Yes, I have. Excellent. That's enough. So, uh, wheat, soybean, rice. Um, soybean. Uh, soybean. I can put it in there, can't I? You make oil. Uh, try again, you make oil. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That makes milk. Eventually. There we go. Um, hey, milk. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I can make another one. Then uh, the oil can go into there. The phone can go into the fridge. Oh, wow, the empty fridge. Uh, the milk can pick up off the floor. And we're good. Uh, now, so you've got your growing stuff, wheat. Wheat. Now, if I plant the wheat, plant wheat. So that'll get me more wheat, which I'll then be able to transfer into these things. Uh, obviously, you're going with rice. You lot are all empty. Excellent. So now they will get me more seeds, which I'll then transfer into them, and I'll have lots of chook food. Then I just need some chooks, which I'll have to get with a trade station. And need some stuff to sell. Luckily, I've got plenty of uranium, uh, weapons grade uranium, and that'll fetch me a good price. Uh, and we're looking good. Uh, so plants run a second crop of them that wasn't much in terms of an eating crop but I've got plenty of eatables um, in the other one I've got to I put my rice in the other machine that's okay um, it'll be nice when I hit this other room so I don't have to keep going through the airlock uh, so I'll hook it up to you which I'll need to put power to um, Put a heater there. Uh, yeah, I can. If I go up, I can hook that into there. Good, you're on. That should put rice into there. Which it is. Plenty of pumpkin, plenty of corn. Uh, speaking of which, we may as well start cooking some of it. I'll go into the canning machine. I've still got plenty of food. Yeah, tons of food. 
Uh, oh, good. Uh, what have I lost? Yeah, oh. Um, I've lost something. Ah, well, I guess I'll figure it out eventually. Um, right. We have got walls. Uh, uh, I have lost something. I've got... Oh, there it is. Ah, I haven't lost it. Don't panic! Um, there we go. Look at that. Ha 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 ha! Um, probably should uh, get rid of that. Um, so I've left canisters in places like that before and they've exploded, which was not a good day. Now, uh, this area here, i uh, start thinking about expanding it a bit. I just like to do a little bit of a, a sort of a little bit of a vanity project here, I guess. Um, so our wall. I want to have my breakfast nook out here. Uh, whoop. So I want something like that. Uh, you, you. Uh, if I make some rooms in here, I can use the interior doors, but they clip into the walls. So I might have to make a weird shape room there. So if I put in something, a window there, of course, if you've got a view like that, you want to be able to see it. Um, one on that side, one on that side. Uh, let me put walls in there. Uh, whoop, you. No. You, you, you. You, you. Oh, and run out. Um, right, so that will mean... I don't have more walls. There we go. I haven't run out. Uh, type on wall, go there. I had a door there, door there, door into that area. Um, I can probably put a glass there and uh, I guess that means you shall be roof in there. And that'll be that area there. That'll give me some space on top of here to build. Uh, if I have my main airlock there, uh, you can come up onto there. I could build something out over this side. Could be a trade platform. I could build a trade platform down there. I want the trade platform to be close to the vending machines, if at all possible. Uh, so. Uh, we shall see how we go. Uh, you. Uh, it's you. Boop. Boop. 
Boop. Uh, we have some crew quarters in those rooms. And, um, yeah, this will be me room with a view. Ha, what a view. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll need some more parts to more plastic sheets, more flat walls. Um, can I get my airlock? One. Well, make me one more. Uh, so our airlock can go here. And I've uh, got no idea what will go here, but it'll be something. Uh, yep. Uh, probably window there. Uh, should I put a high, high roof in here or just flat, low roof like we had out here? Um, now we'll figure it out. And, right, so, walls, some flat walls, make another stack of them, another airlock, boom, and some more bits and pieces to finish that off. Need to redo you, put an alarm on you, get that alarm working, get that alarm working, get that alarm working. Um, and we're getting closer. Uh, so, five days without killing myself. Some plants are growing. Ow. <laughs> I, I said something about not killing myself. Um, so, there we go. Uh, base is coming along. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do out the back here, but we will. I need to find somewhere to put a medical centre. Uh, probably not a lot of room down here. Well, that's a big medical centre. If I could just at least give myself a safe place where I can build my uh, pod to save myself. Those floors are at different angles. Why do you have to point that out to me? Damn it! Now I'm going to have to turn them all around. I'm going to have to go look at them all now. That's not fair. What have you done? Uh, but, um, yeah, that's about it for today. So, until next time, happy building. See ya.